Seeing blood in your urine can be a frightening experience. Blood in the urine can be due to many causes, and some of them can be serious conditions. It is important to take blood in the urine seriously to avoid a late diagnosis and a poor outcome. Hematuria is the medical term for blood in the urine. There are two types of hematuria. One, blood in the urine that cannot be seen but is detected under a microscope or on a urine dipstick is called microscopic hematuria. People with microscopic hematuria usually do not have any symptoms. It is usually found when you submit a urine sample for routine checkup with your family physician. Should you worry about microscopic hematuria? Keep watching and I'll bust some myths and separate fact from fiction. Two, blood in the urine that can be seen is called gross hematuria. Gross hematuria could be seen as pinkish, brownish, or reddish urine. Up to 50% of people with gross hematuria will be found with, to have significant disease on further investigation. So you want to pay extra attention to this. There are many reasons for hematuria. They may be from a benign or non-cancerous cause like kidney stones, kidney cyst, urinary tract infection or UTI, viral illness, female menstruation, eating disorders, vigorous exercise, trauma, sexual activity. Or in some unfortunate cases, it may be from a malignant or cancerous cause like kidney cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer. It is important that anyone with hematuria be seen by a urologist for a checkup because early detection can save lives. If you see any signs of hematuria, please see a urologist to check it out as soon as possible. Myth number one is that hematuria is not serious if it occurs only once or if it goes away by itself. In my career, I have seen a number of bladder and kidney cancers that were diagnosed late because patients ignored the first episode of hematuria. In these cases, the subsequent episodes of hematuria occurred several months later. And by that time, the disease had progressed to a more advanced stage, requiring more intense treatment and a poorer outcome compared to having it treated at an earlier stage. Don't let this happen to you. Catch it early and get treated early. Myth number two is that hematuria is not serious if there is no pain. As a urologist, I'm actually more concerned when hematuria is painless. That's because cancers of the urinary tract are usually painless, whereas less harmful benign conditions such as stones and infection are the ones that usually cause pain. Myth number three, if a woman has blood in her urine, it is from a urinary tract infection or UTI. Women have been found to have delayed diagnosis of bladder cancer and more advanced cancer at diagnosis compared to men. This is because they or their doctors assumed that their hematuria was due to a UTI and referral to a urologist was delayed often by several months. Delays are always a bad thing when it comes to cancers. While UTIs are more common in women and UTIs can cause hematuria, you should see a urologist if 1. The hematuria is painless or 2. You have multiple UTIs or UTIs that don't respond to antibiotics. These are red flags that are concerning. It's always the safer option to get a checkup to exclude serious disease before concluding that the cause of the hematuria is not serious. Hi, I'm Dr. Lincoln Tan and I'm Director and Consultant Urologist at Tan Urology, a father and son urological practice at Glen Eagles Hospital. I hope that the information shared is useful. Education is the key to recognizing the early signs of serious disease and leads to better outcomes. When a patient sees me for hematuria, I want to find out the following. One, are there any other symptoms like changes in the urination pattern or any pain during urination or in the back? Two, is the patient a smoker? Cigarette smoking increases the risk of bladder and kidney cancers by two to four times. So, if you are a smoker, 
please stop. Three, is there a history of kidney stones or recent injury? Four, are there any existing medical conditions and medications being taken? After a physical examination, one or more of the following tests may be done. Unit tests may be done to look for infections. Blood tests to check for kidney function and in appropriate patients to assess the risk of prostate cancer. Imaging tests of the urinary tract, such as x-rays, ultrasound, or CT scans. Cystoscopy. This is done by passing a narrow camera to view the inside of the urethra, bladder, and prostate. At time urology, cystoscopy can be done in the comfort of our clinic. This saves costs and is more convenient than having it done in the hospital. Once we have diagnosed the underlying cause of the hematuria, we can then discuss the best treatment options for you. Remember, sharing is caring. If you feel that this information has been useful, please share this video with your friends and loved ones. Patients with blood and urine can make an appointment to see us by phone or via our website. Patients can prepare for their visit by writing down any other symptoms they may have, listing out their medical conditions and medications taken, any questions they may have. For more information, please visit our website at www.tanurology.com.sg.